Universal Healthcare, in its simplest definition, is where basic forms of dental, mental, and healthcare services are provided to all members of that society. It is a declared basic human right by the United Nations. Hi, I'm Roger Elrod. I'm the director of the Student Health Services. So I have 30 years of experience in college administration. The last 15 of those have been in healthcare administration. Any organization needs to be about uh, collective health or collective wellness. We aren't in the practice of turning anybody away, um, but we are limited in the amount of staff we currently have. And so somebody may, may come in thinking in the afternoon they're going to get an appointment and we may not have any appointments left. You know, the doctors I found were really friendly. They take a little bit of extra time because they're not slammed like urgent care centers. The wait times have never been super long for me. I've never had to wait for more than 30 minutes to see someone. Um, and, and they have that new appointment system online, or at least it's new to me. And uh, I found that's really convenient. The staff that stay tend to be people who are really passionate about what it means to work in this context and serve students well. I see them every day just going out of their way to make things work even though um, we are a little short on resources. And so quality is, from staff standpoint, is exactly the same. So whether you're at a community clinic or, or hospital, um, our staff have to meet the same licensure. I think the number is like 75% of the students are satisfied or very satisfied with their care. I went here as an undergraduate from 2009 to 2011 and I used the health center back then. I had a few ear infections and uh, some general health questions and uh, I've used them as a graduate student too um, for vaccinations and things like that and I've, I found it's really useful, very convenient. Hospital is going to be far more robust in the level of services provided, obviously. I mean, surgeries and other things that we don't do here. Is that we really are encouraging our staff to spend more time at every level of the process. The patient can assimilate more of what it means to think about their own health care and be a self-agent of their own health care. Our own clinic on San Francisco State's campus is a reflection of the universal health care ideology on a small scale. Every student who registers pays a fee every semester. Um, that fee here at this campus is $157. Everybody pays into it whether they directly use the services or not. The San Francisco State Clinic provides everyone with a clear example of how beneficial universal health care is on a small campus. All we are seeing is the benefits it provides on a small scale with a low budget. Imagine the same quality of service being provided by the campus on a nationwide level with the appropriate budget to sustain everyone. Um, I'm more likely to actually go to the health center because it's, uh, it's easier for me to get to when I'm sick. I live right over in Park Merced, so it's a shorter journey. Um, I have Medi-Cal, so I have to go down to San Francisco General if I want to see my primary. And the problem with that is making a bus journey when I'm sick is not the easiest thing in the world. So. I find that the, the health center costs are low enough that I can justify going there instead of going to my primary care. Mm, at this campus, about a third of the students use us. That means every classroom you go to, one out of the three students that you're sitting next to has had some benefit, either vaccination, uh, STI treatment, um, perhaps something about depression. We are trying to think about the question of how do we contribute to the larger health of the community? That's something that even if somebody doesn't come in, everybody benefits. Um, the whole community's wellness is improved with that $157 that every student pays. I think that all the student health fees, or all the student fees are really useful. Um, you know, we get some good stuff out of it. The health center, the Mashouf Wellness Center, um, the clipper card that we have. Um, I don't mind paying those fees. I think it's a small price for convenience. At what we're looking at is, at this point in time, is this that $157 sufficient? One of the things we've experienced in going out and checking on community prices, if somebody doesn't have insurance, an office visit is anywhere from $160 to $250 just to go drop into an office. With a question to what kind of uh, health care service works well at a college level or even let's expand that to a national level, but I think we would get to the best level of health care or an I think a good start on that practice would be that the people that are, that are representatives in Congress or our senators would be thinking that their responsibility is to negotiate for the rest of the country the same level of care that they're comfortable with. 
But that's national security. So we, when people talk about defending our country well or community health, national security means that you take care of the population. Not that you take care of it for themselves, you don't want to reduce initiative, but I, I think true national security comes from that kind of community perspective. Universal healthcare does not stop at helping people in the community, and it is a true reflection of how much our government cares about the healthiness of its people.